green table, new video time. And not like this will help my YouTube shadow banning at all in terms of actually getting some views, but uh, this video is going to be about pens. No, 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 wait, 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 don't click off yet, don't click off yet, I swear, they're interesting. No, 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 tr just trust me on that, tr trust me, these are interesting pens. So, these are pens that also double as toys, and I've been collecting these for over 20 years. <laughs> uh, I wasn't wrong on that number. These are pens that came out in the 90s, and I've had them in one way or another since I was a kid, and I've always loved these, and I just want to share a, an entire showcase of the pens that I have. I'm going to plop them down on this table, and then you can view them with your eyeballs, and hopefully you like them as much as I do, or at least maybe a little bit. Now, uh, hmm, which ones do we start off with first? You know what? Let's start with the ones that are kind of in their own category because of the brand. Here's three. Don't worry, we have plenty more. So all the pens I have, they're either some sort of, well, they're all some sort of game or toy. That's, that's the, they either fit in one of those two categories. This one is actually a full-on video game. It's actually got, uh, got two of them that are like that. So this seems to be an officially branded Atari Asteroids pen. I'm trying to remember when I got this. I want to, oh wait. 2006. Okay, there's a hint. And yeah, this is, it kind of looks like an arcade cabinet, which I always thought was cool. It's got that, you know, that overhang. Um, would have been cool if it had like a marquee or something, but this was before, you know, the whole retro game craze, I think, really super took off. You know, I think that took off when the virtual console happened on the Wii. But yeah, let's go ahead and fire it up. Takes two coin batteries. Okay, I was afraid it wasn't going to boot up there. I did have to clean this. The batteries that were in here, they had leaked. So let's see, start. So this isn't like regular asteroids. You're not in the middle of the play field. It's a, you know, top to bottom shooter. There's a big problem with this game, though. You can totally cheese it just by spamming the fire button and moving back and forth. Let me turn that sound off. There we go. Yeah, if you just keep moving back and forth and firing, nothing will ever get you. Ever. I remember one time I actually maxed out the score to see what it would do, and it just rolls back over to zero. <laughs> That's literally it. The The only way... Oh, it just I think it just said level two on the top. So I'm guessing maybe now the speed is slightly faster. But again, it's just... There's no challenge when you can cheese it like this. So it's asteroids, I guess... Uh, in a symbolic sense, but in terms of gameplay, this ain't asteroids. This is barely Space Invaders. Actually, I think Space Invaders was more advanced because you weren't locked into a LCD segment pattern. So yeah, that's the one. Oh, and here's the pen portion. See? I doubt it writes anymore. Don't mind the band-aid. I just didn't want you to look at a bloody cuticle. Dang anxiety picking at it. What pen do we... You know what? Let's look at the other other electronic one. This one is a little bit more of a mystery, because the only branding on it is Z-Screen. I got this in the early 2000s. Does anybody remember, well, anybody who's old enough to remember, Frito-Lay, they had a reward system called Eploids. E-P-L-O-I-D-S, e Eploids. And every little tiny uh, snack bag, like chips or cheese uh, doodles or whatever, they would have one, two, or sometimes three points on the back, and you'd cut it out of the bag, and then you'd go on their website and re and mail them in and redeem them for prizes. I have no idea how many ploids this must have cost, probably uh, hundreds of thousands. And I remember being so excited getting this in the mail. I thought it was so cool. I don't think the whole video game on a pen thing had really been done yet, and it was, you know, it's pretty slim. It's a, it's a small little thing. Let's go ahead and fire it up so it's the... Black button there, that's the on-off. We do have sound. So the green is the gas, red is brake. And this is it. <laughs> it's literally got as much depth to it as a pop station game. It's just, uh, yeah, avoid the cars. Uh, there's really no point in ever braking unless you find yourself somehow right behind a car. I do remember the cars getting faster, but that'd be about it. There is a little mini-map on the top left that shows your progress. 
And that's it for that. I don't want to spend too much time on one pen because we have a lot to go through. Like this one here. This is an entire board game on a pen. So it's the game trouble if you haven't noticed that already. You open this up on the top and there's all the game pieces in there. I'm not going to bother taking them all out because I'll probably lose some and spill them. But it looks like, yeah, each player has three instead of four. Yep, okay, so there's three per color instead of four, like the normal board game. Get in there. Get. Yeah, there we go. So to get the full board game, you flick this up. There we go. And there's your full board. And you even got the, um, the popper there. So you can never lose the dice because it's stuck in the dome. And let's see, one... Hmm... It's interesting. There is a spot for, you know, four different color pegs, but you only get three per color. I highly doubt I had just so happened to lose one of each color, so I'm going to say it only came with three. And I'm going to assume these came from the same line of pens because the, the actual pen part looks the same. This one's a board game, but yeah, I, I guess it's, you know, pieces are a little small, but totally playable. Oof. I think <laughs> that plastic has gotten a lot more squeaky over time. I, rem I remember that mechanism being a lot smoother. But yeah, bulky pen if you were to actually write with it. Same for the asteroids. Jesus, the, the, the right angles kind of hit your hand like, ow, ow, ow. So that's neat. But let's bring these guys to the side because these are what I'll call the off-brand ones. So the ones I really got into as a kid, checking my notes here, <laughs> they were called the Power Pens, and they had a whole line of different Power Pens, all kinds of gadgets and toys, gizmos, they did all kinds of stuff. Um, but, you know, they came out in the mid-90s, so eventually they were obviously phased out because time moves on and whatnot. But later on, some company re-released some of them and called them Mighty Pens. And these are the ones that I have. So some of these are re-releases on Mighty Pens they've done in the past, while some of these seem to be new ones that I'd never seen in a power pen form before. Uh, like, for example, this is a hockey game, a race car game, and a basketball game. These I've all seen releases of these in the power pen variety. The Start Launcher and Pullback Racer, never seen those before, so those might be new. Now, the, what always kind of bugged me about this is literally the majority of it is the toy. The only part that's actually the pen is the small part, which means the ink cartridges are ridiculously small. So you're going to run out of ink on this thing pretty, pretty quickly. And I don't know if these are proprietary. Um, I'm sure someone in the comments will correct me on that and tell me if they are or not. I'd be happy to know that they are not, because then I'd like I'd like to know that these are easily replaceable. But yeah, I had one of this in the Power Pens variety as a kid. I remember because the color scheme was different. The red was blue. I think that was still orange. And then this, no, this was orange, the black part and the top, I don't remember. But it was a different color scheme. Same toy, though. So... Let's give these all a moment in the spotlight. So first, uh, we'll look at Slapshot Hockey. So here's your goal, your goal net. You unfold it, and you just place it down on your desk. Notice there's a gap in the middle. That's for goal scoring purposes. Hockey pucks are in here. There's five of them. I'm not going to take any out because, A, they probably won't work on this not smooth tablecloth, and, B, I'll probably lose one, or, C, the cat will find it and eat it. So... We'll just use our imaginations here, but um, <laughs> you push the plunger down, you put a little hockey puck down on the table, press the button, and it'll launch the hockey puck ding, into the goal. So you could get creative like on your desk. I don't know if you want to set up obstacles. I remember I used to set up right angle shots. I'd put something 45 degrees, say here, so it would go pew, pew, kind of ricochet into it, kind of just to give it a little more variety. And then... How did this go on there? Upside down that way? It kind of... There's pegs that go into these locking holes. Come on. Not, I'm not recording or anything, so... Um, you know what? You're going to be stubborn. You can go over there. You're in 
purgatory. So the next one is shot racers, and this is pretty similar to the hockey one, except instead of hockey pucks, you get these two little race cars, and they are really thin, small and really thin. And if you haven't guessed by now, the idea is you push this down, push the button to launch. So you can just put one down there. Let's see if this one goes. Holy jeez. <laughs> Hold on. Let's give it more space. Let's give it more space. Wow. Okay. That will actually go a pretty decent distance if you give it a nice flat floor. Um, is that just lucky? Is the other one moved that well as well? Come on. There we go. The button got stuck on the pen. Okay, this is kind of, I forgot how powerful this was. Uh, so yeah, that's the Shot Racer's pen. Uh, I'm going to save this one for last. You go into non-purgatory because you were a good lad. So this one, yeah, I don't remember an original power pen version. This is the Pullback Racer. It's a chunky lad. Very uncomfortable to actually write with if you were to do that. But... You unfold it kind of transformer style. It's a little finicky. Eh, requires a, eh, a little bit of fidgeting there. Come on, snap in place. And you too. Huh. And there you go. Now the front wheels are out, and it's a pullback motor, so you pull it back. Do you see where this is going yet? Place your bets. Okay, don't fly off the table. <laughs> Got a pretty decent pullback motor in it, I will say. One thing I never liked about the pen, though, is when it's in race car form, the windshield seems to kind of block the driver's view, so uh, now he can't see. Unless he looks through that little hole, I guess, maybe. So he might crash and die. That's neat. So that's the pullback racer. Come on. Get back. Eh. You're about to go into purgatory. Oops. <laughs> he listened. Gave him the threat of purgatory. This one's another new one that I don't remember from my childhood, the disc launcher. Uh, okay, I had to look at it for a sec to remember how it worked, but I remember now. So you got four discs. It's nice of them to give you four, because I can see these easily getting lost. So that... Eh. There we go. That's your launcher string. Again, you see where this one's going yet? Okay, it pulls out pretty far. Uh, the cat's probably going to get this. <laughs> uh, let's do a small one. Ready? Okay, that was... Re <laughs> it's a cat attractor. <laughs> Launch this to make your cat come running. Okay, don't have your face here. This is going to hit your face. Uh, let's do a... Uh... Okay, I really don't want to pull it hard. And the string is getting stuck out when I pull it. That's... Not ideal. All right, you know what? Screw it. Let's give it one good pull. Here we go. That barely went anywhere. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, don't you take that. Yeah, it went onto the floor, but didn't really get airborne. So, uh, not quite sure how I feel about that one. And this <laughs> the string keeps getting stuck. Well, it's stuck in the out position, so you go into pen purgatory. <laughs> oh, wait, I put him into purgatory, and he didn't deserve it. Sorry. Okay, we got him separate. Everything's fine. So this one I wanted to save for the last of this group because the transformation on this is pretty incredible. Again, it's quite the bulky thing to hold if you want to actually use it for writing. But wait for it. Oh. Is your three basketballs. Basketballs, what? Yeah, because ready? Joink. <laughs> it's a mini basketball game. What with like the kind you get in the dollar store, except it's a little mini pen form. For some reason, the camera's trying to autofocus on my hand. Do, do you like what you see, camera? Hello. Yeah, okay. It had the grid outline around it on my viewfinder. Yeah, this one, you just... Get it a little stabilized there. Mm. Ah, don't roll off the table. Come on. No, we gotta make a shot. There's people watching. Come on. I promised them I'd make a shot. Dip. Okay. I think it's a little off center here. Dip. I think th I think the table's tilted. I'm gonna place my blame on that. 
look, I made it. Did you see it? Wow. Okay, that was amazing. And the skill on me is incredible. But yeah, this one, I, I think I'd say this one was always my favorite. I think as a kid, this was probably the one I carried around the most. And I will say, I did think I was pretty cool carrying this thing around. <laughs> I thought it was cool. How about that? Hmm. Well, I guess that's the end of our pens. Or is it? Because I didn't mention the old power pens for no reason. Hold on. Hold on. I hope you like the 90s. <laughs> These are new in-packaging power pens from the 1990s. Now, the, the packages are open now, but when I got them, they were not open. They were still sealed, brand new, still had 90s factory air sealed in there. I opened them because I couldn't resist. I wanted to play with them because I hadn't seen some of these in so long. Uh, I find it interesting that some of them come in a flat cardboard back and some of them are that old plastic blister pack. Thankfully, we don't really see that anymore. So this one is power pens, air attack, load it, launch it, ready for action with two flying copters. And it writes... Boy, the whole thing with um, writing in a combination of lowercase and uppercase, you know, that's a meme nowadays, but looks like that meme started in the 90s. But man, look at that 90s. Everything's 90s about this, right? The colors, the um, the font, the, everything, man. This is just so 90s. Actually, do we have a date? Uh, 1995. There we go. Uh... There's a 1-800 number. I think I tried dialing that, and it went to an adult chat line. I am not making this up. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I wouldn't suggest calling it. It doesn't go to them anymore. The, the instructions said to call them for ink refills, but uh, they don't got that no more. So let's just go ahead and let it come out here. So one of the copters always stores in the top there. So that actually looks like a proper top to a pen. See? Like, come on. There we go. See? Like that. And for the launcher bit, you break it in half. <laughs> so you put your copter on. Okay, Sammy's up on his cat tower. He knows this one's going to go flying. I've tested this one. It does go flying. Here we go. Lift off. That could have gone better. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to do this one. The camera's in the way. Okay, I'm getting in position. I'm going to really pull this one. This one's going to go take it off like one of those sky dancers. Those toys that got banned. Holy... <laughs> okay. It went way over there, and it went over there so quickly that the cat didn't even notice. He thinks it might still be on the table somewhere. <laughs> Good. We'll let him think it's on the table. That way he won't go to get it where it is on the floor. And I can wait till after the video to get it. So yeah, this is just like those old Sky Dancer toys from the 90s. Those ones that were banned because kids would get them to fly in their friends' faces. Except it's in miniature pen form. And you could launch it in the classroom and take out one of your classmates' eyes instead. And I had the same color scheme of this one when I was a kid. So this was a real throwback for me. Same exact color scheme, same pen. Ugh. Is amazing. I noticed I think my white balance might be a little off for this video. Too late for that. Next up is this three pack. This is the label right inside the packaging. The buy two, get one free power pen special. You get rocket slam, dart launcher, and scope free. So we got more 90s font, more 90s graphics. I love it. Look at the back here. Um, yeah, it's got instructions for each one. I'll let you pause it if you want to look at those in detail yourself. But if not, I will demonstrate these for you right now. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. One piece left held in there with scotch tape. There we go. Got him. Trust me, this is important. So, uh, it was at the top of the pile, so we'll start with the dart launcher first. Uh, this, when I had the dart launcher as a kid, I had, it was like a dark green instead of purple here. 
and the darts were like a magenta instead of yellow, but it's the same exact pen. So you pull back the launcher there, got a scope that folds up, dart goes in, it's got a suction cup on the end. Can you see where this is going? So the point of this thing that we were trying to rescue, you put it eh, like that, and it could be either like your scope stand or the storage for your extra darts. Um, <laughs> these darts are going the way of the Dodo, if you catch my drift. Uh, they got that, they're that late 90s rubberized plastic where they're starting to get a little bit sticky. Not really sticky, but they're not supposed to be sticky at all. And, uh, yeah, starting to get there a little bit. Oh, track the pen bit. Okay. This one I know will go flying, so I'm just going to fire it into my hand. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hold on. I'll do that again in case you missed it. Get that in there. Launch ahoy. Jeez. <laughs> my God. Uh, maybe these were discontinued for a reason. They were too fun because they were borderline dangerous. Ah, oh, dang it all. Sammy just discovered the copter on the floor. Hold on. You will not give me that. Hi. I have thwarted his pen expedition. Uh, what was next in the three-pack? Rocket Slam. This was another one I had as a kid. Um, not the same one I had. That's why I had to rebuy all these off of eBay. Uh, these, these weren't too expensive, by the way, which I was kind of happy to see. It made it easier for me to make a video about them because I didn't have to bleed a lot of money. So this is air-powered. You got these foam little rockets, little fins. You put it on there. You pull this back. And this whole thing is really loose because the idea is you just kind of slam it in and rocket goes flying. But you can't put it on too far back or else it just like gets stuck on there. So you kind of just a little bit loose, a little bit loose. And then there you go. <laughs> they definitely don't pack as much oomph as the darts do, but Oop, wait, wait. Okay. Now I got to go get that one. Ugh. Sam, no, give me. Thank you much. <sighs> You know, he could have been a decent assistant if he just didn't try to eat everything that falls onto the floor, edible or otherwise. There's a little storage pouch for a third rocket, so you get one, two, make sure they're all counted for. Yeah, you get three total with Rocket Slam. And the last one you get, well, it's just a scope. <laughs> I don't think I had this one way back when, but the idea is, wait, which ends the scope and which ends the magnifying glass? Uh, little scope out of the barrel. Look into the eyepiece. Look into the eyepiece. Doesn't really tell you what the eyepiece is. Okay, so... Yeah, so it pulls out. Oh my god, wait. Ooh, that's got, like... Not lead paint, but... Ooh, that's 90s paint. <laughs> it's been sealed up in there for almost three decades. Two and a half. So we got something to look in there. I'm not sure why there's a mirror here. Hello, you can see me. Ooh, kind of, sort of. It's a plastic mirror, so... You look through there and, uh... Oh, no, wait. This is the eyepiece. Can you see anything yet? Don't worry, neither can I. But yeah, it's... I'm looking through it with the naked eye. It's not that impressive with that either. You have to pull this in and out to get the focus correct. And... It does seem like if you look at something up close, it now kind of works as a magnifying glass, but the packaging says as a scope, you're only going to get six time magnification, and as a magnifying glass, you're lucky if you get 20 times, so yeah, this one's a little underwhelming, I, I must say. Uh, one of these, one of these had an extra pack of ink cartridges. I don't know which one it was. I lost that in the shuffle here somewhere. Uh, but it was nice to see that at least one of them came with extra ink cartridges, although not all of them did, which was very odd. But we still have one more to look at. This one I never had as a kid. I didn't even know existed as a kid. If I did, I would have been all over this. The power pen's chillin'. Cool down. It's a fan, and it writes. Look at that kid. Look at the 90s. Look at it. It's so great. Radical, man. 
Um, yeah, they they advertise to all these different categories of power pens, power pens, markers, power pens, candy, electro, the electronic ones, trick pens, quick power pens. I don't know what that is. I have to <laughs> sneeze. That one's a limited edition, though. Now, how did I cut this one open? I'm really surprised Sammy's up here. This isn't even a food video. There it is. Come on out, you. Now, something I never got to work. Step three here. Get a read on how hot it is. Tan green color indicates current temperature. 85 degrees. Chill out. There's your proof. 90s. But yeah, that never worked. <laughs> I don't know if it was like... Well, obviously it's temperature sensitive, but I don't know if it was like one of those old school battery testers where if it gets a certain temperature, that area would just turn a different color. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. I, I don't know. It literally seems like it's just a sticker. There's no electronics or anything behind it. I have no idea. But I already stuck the two AAA batteries in here. It does... Well, for a pen, yeah, it makes it pretty weighty. Do not touch that. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little weighty for a pen. I don't know how long you'd actually want to use it as such. But if you're starting to get a little hot, you let the blades come out. Turn the switch. I think you bring it down. Ah, it's so hard to move, though. It's, like, stuck. There we go. <laughs> and, yeah, they're, they're foam blades, so they don't hurt. But I find it interesting how they're kind of like a switchblade. You know, they kind of float freely so that you could store them away, but they spring right to life when you turn the switch on. It's, it is a little lopsided. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. I don't know if you could see it vibrating just ever so slightly. And you can feel it in the pen, too. Where you can feel it kind of have a, a wobble. So it's off balance, which is kind of a shame. That means that... This could be an even better fan if that wasn't the case. But I'm putting it up to my face, and it's not great. But it's better than nothing, though. Um, I remember taking some... Ow, I hit my finger. <laughs> Let's turn it off. I remember taking some sort of state test in high school, and it was like right at the start of summer vacation. They put us all in the gym, and they just had hundreds of desks in there. It was super hot that day. And I'm sweating, and I was, oh my god, I thought I was going to be sick. And I really wish I had one of these when I was taking that test. That would have been amazing. But, um, yeah, that is the last Power Pens. I figured I'd save the electronic one for last. I never had any other electronic ones when I was a kid. Well, I mean, I had these two guys here, but none in the Power Pens lineup. But, yeah. That is- oh, No! That rubber's starting to give and it's ripping. Oh man. Well, this one says 2004, so it's 18 years old. I guess I can't really blame it. So yeah, I hope this video was at least a little bit interesting. I know it was interesting for me to make it and collect these over the years. And, I don't know, do you ever see anything like these as a kid? Uh, are any of you old enough to even remember these? Or even the re-releases. I don't know how old you guys are. You guys are, what, like three now? Or something like that? I don't know. Happy birthday. I think one of you turned four. Until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to the people listed here. These are the Patreon supporters that allow me to keep doing what I do on YouTube. Wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. There's a Discord server in the description if you want to join there. And on Twitch, I stream every week on Tuesday. Come hang out with us.